you better mark your calendars for this Saturday um, because the most important video I've ever, ever, ever filmed is going live on Saturday the 7th, okay? It feels like a crime to dip into something so beautiful, but we have to for this video. <gasps> That's so pretty. <sighs> oh, this is kind of like splashing on my cheeks. Like seriously, look, it's like paint. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film every year. If you missed my last video, we are in the middle of the Allure Best of Beauty 2023 awards series. I love to do this every year where I sit down and I try out all of the Allure Best of Beauty award winners. Now, I guess I don't try all of them because there are hundreds, but I try out as many as I can. We've already tried out the drugstore and affordable products. Today we're trying out some of the more high-end luxury products. There are so many things in front of me I'm gonna put a video in right now so you guys can see what my desk looks like. We have a lot to tackle today, so let's just dive right in. I'm a massive fan of the Aquas hair towels, and when I saw the Aquas Flip one, I was like, wait, is that different? Sure enough, it's different. I bought this and tried it out. The shape is slightly different than the ones that I have. I own like five of these towels. It used to taper in a little bit more and have a button. The Aquas Flip is a lot longer, and then when you put your hair in it, you twist it back, and it just has this little elastic that you secure the ends in. I like this style so much more. This design is so much better than my other ones, and I'm a huge fan of the other ones. So I wanted to pick one of these up when I saw that it won, and I'm really happy that I did. I've also been trying this out. A lot of these products, by the way, were sent to me in PR, but a lot of them I bought as well for this video. This one was sent to me in PR, but this won an award. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. It's the primer. This is beautiful. I used this last time I washed my hair. I put it through the ends and it has a really beautiful texture. It's supposed to be like a heat protectant, but it's like a hydrating one, which I thought was nice. Anyway, I've been really enjoying it. Then I bought this. This obviously won an award. This is the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I've only used it once. I put it back in the box because I thought the box was so cute. Like I said, I've only used it once, but it felt really nice and lightweight. I don't know. It was something that I have wanted to try for a while, so I figured it was kind of an excuse to pick this up. I got the mini size, but I'm obsessed with the packaging. It smells really good too. I'm a fan of a good hair oil, especially since now my hair texture has changed since after pregnancy. I find that hair oils really help kind of control the frizz that I have with my newer curly hair. So some skincare products that I absolutely love that won an award and I feel like it's so well deserved. First is the Shawnee Darden facial. So you get like this brush, you get this clay mask and you get the acid peel. This is like an actual facial at home. So if you get facials ever, you'll know that like some of the actives they use are a little bit more intense for a facial and the results I feel like are, you know, better with those more facial grade products. It's literally that at home. So I would say that this little experience is probably not for a beginner. This is for somebody who, you know, regularly uses acids on the face, like your skin is more adjusted to something like that because it is pretty intense but it's very effective I love this so much was really happy to see that it got an award it just smooths the skin out like nothing like it really does feel like you spent so much money going to a facialist I saw that the Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer won an award I actually just barely got sent this in PR which was perfect timing. So I've been trying it out for the past couple of days. I used to use the old formula, which I really loved. I've heard mixed things about the new one, probably because people love the old formula so much. I've really enjoyed this so far. I haven't noticed anything crazy with this, like in a negative way. So I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of this. I figured I would apply some of the things. I won't be able to apply everything <laughs> that I'm talking about, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. My skin is clean and dry because I actually just did a face mask. Um, I didn't end up using the Shawnee Darden one today because I had already used like a treatment last night. So I didn't want to overdo it on my skin. I used the Kate Somerville Mega C Brightening Facial before coming on camera today. I've used this a few times. Um, this won an award, so I decided to like, you know, test it out a little bit more. And so far so good. I love a good vitamin C brightening face mask. And this one is really nice. I feel like it does just kind of gently brighten the skin, which is always a plus. Another one of my favorite skincare products is the Mara 
Flower Acid Serum. This is not for the faint of heart, okay? This is a very potent serum. A little goes a long way, but it's incredible for texture. So good, it won an award, obviously, and I'm obsessed. I also love the Tatcha Silk Serum. This is supposed to be a vegan alternative to a retinol, which for me right now is really nice because I am still <laughs> breastfeeding, so I'm not using my other favorite retinol products at the moment, um, but I love what retinol does. So this gives the same kind of anti anti-aging, firming kind of skin effect without retinol. So I've used this for a while now, really love it and was happy to see it win an award. I also saw that this won an award, I love this stuff. This is the Drunk Elephant Bouncy Bright Facial. You use this as like a leave-on mask at the end of your skincare routine and it really does the most. Again, I'm obsessed with brightening vitamin C types of products. So unlike the Kate Somerville where it's a leave-on mask that you wash off, this one you leave on and I really love it. I've talked about this before on my channel and it's just it's so good, I love these drunk elephant leave on face masks. The F-bomb other one is didn't win an award, but it should. It's a similar type of um, leave on mask that it's just easy to incorporate into your routine for a little boost of something. All right, I've got three moisturizers here, none of which I've tried, but I wanted to try one of them on camera today. All three of these won an awards. The Tower 28 Daily Barrier Recovery Cream won an award, which I, I'm leaning toward that one. The Kate Somerville Hydrocate. Again, I just happen to have these from PR, which is really fun. So I figured I would just like, you know, grab them to start trying. I have heard so many good things about this. The Caudalie Premier Cru, the Creme Riche or the Rich Cream. I've actually tried the regular one, which is up in my bathroom, really love that. But this one's like the super rich version. Oh, I kind of want to try this. I don't know. Should we kind of do both? I'm thinking like maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. Is that like extra? Yes, it's extra, but we're going to try the Tower 28 first, which I love their products. And I actually feel like they are doing so well in the skincare category, which is really unique for more of a makeup brand, but it's just working for them. Ooh, okay. So this is like actually a lighter texture than what I was expecting. Mmm, it feels nice. It's sinking into the skin really beautifully. Tower 28 is all like sensitive skin focused, which is nice. I feel like I just trust their products because of that. Okay, well, that feels really nice. I do wanna try a little bit of the Caudalie. Why not, you know? We could really prep the skin beautifully. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Looks like this is one of the refill containers. I don't wanna overdo it with this, so I, I grab just a tiny bit. Ooh, so this is super rich. That feels so nice. Side note, guess what I've been doing every night? I've been using a gua sha tool. I know I've like used gua sha's before, but I haven't been this religious with it until lately, and I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention you guys. You better mark your calendars for this Saturday. Um, because the most important video I've ever, ever, ever filmed is going live on Saturday, the 7th. Okay, so I know that was like a side note, but you just, you don't want to miss it, okay? Then the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Collagen Eye Treatment won an award. I love this stuff. So this is like my personal eye cream that was already up in my eye cream drawer. Well, I don't have a whole drawer dedicated to eye cream but it was in the drawer where my eye creams are. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply this all over. Skin Fix is another brand that I just, I just trust. My skin loves their products. Then we're gonna use a little bit of this Glow Recipe Lip Balm. It's a really thick hydrating lip mask. I think it's really beautiful. Honestly, I find myself using lip balms and like overnight treatments that aren't in a pot like this. I don't know, it's just what I reach for. Um, but this is a really nice formula, super hydrating. Well, my skin feels very prepped. Since we did apply quite a bit of fresh skincare, I'm gonna go ahead and go into brows now. I was excited to see the Kosas Brow Pop Nano won an award because this is like the tiniest eyebrow pencil I've ever used in my life. It is so small. I wonder if I can show you on camera how tiny this is. I don't know if it's really coming across, maybe. Like seriously, the tiniest, tiniest pencil. Maybe it's helpful to compare to my trusty Benefit pencil. Look how itty bitty compared to Benefit. Are you kidding? It's teensy. It's a really nice pencil too. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with this. 
Do you want to know what I finally rebought because it won an award yet again? The Joey Healy Lux Brow Powder. This brow powder won an award I think two years ago and honestly I feel like it won last year too. I could be completely wrong but I'm pretty sure it did. This has become like my favorite brow powder and I discovered it because of doing these videos which is kind of fun. I had a terrible, very unfortunate situation where I traveled with this and it shattered in my bag and I just hadn't replaced it and when I saw that it won again, I was like, you know what? It's a sign. It's my favorite. I'm just gonna rebuy it. So I have the shade Tobacco. I'm gonna use this little RMS brow brush. Even though we have the pencil, I'm gonna fill in the brows a little more with this powder. I don't know what it is about this, but I feel like every time I use this powder, even on its own, like especially on its own, it just looks good. Maybe it's the shade that works so well for me. I don't really know. The point is, I'm happy to have it back in my life. I have missed it dearly. We will revisit some brow products at the end. Now we're gonna go into some eyeshadow. I don't think there was an eyeshadow primer that one. So I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of this Pat McGrath one, just for a small little base. I mentioned in my drugstore version of this video that they did eyeshadow palettes a little bit differently this time. It was like best two pan eyeshadow palette, best four pan, best nine pan, best 16 pan, whatever. So this eyeshadow palette won best nine color palette. This is from Florasis, which I actually haven't tried anything from the brand. They've sent me PR before, but I bought this off of Amazon because it was a specific um, eyeshadow palette color. So this one um, is Retro Brown, this shade. I believe that's what it's called. And it's their Florasis Phoenix Makeup Palette. The packaging and the attention to detail of this brand is out of this world. Okay, just look. Look at that. It is so beautiful, but just wait. Look at the inside of this palette. I'm absolutely stunned and I haven't even used it yet. Are you kidding? How am I supposed to use something so beautiful? I'm like, I'm so excited about this. Let's see here. I'm gonna start off with this color right here. It feels like a crime to dip into something so beautiful, but we have to for this video. All right, I'm gonna start to buff this out in the crease as my transition shade. Just such a stunning palette. I'm so happy to finally be trying this brand. I'm gonna hop right next to that color right here, which I'm then gonna use to just sculpt out the outer edge of the eye. Then I'm gonna take the deepest matte shade in the pan right here, just to further define that outer edge of the eye. I really wanna try this color. So I'm taking my fingertip, which just feels absolutely awful trying to pick up product on such a beautiful palette. I'm just gonna press this all over the lid. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? Oh wow, I love this more shimmery shade. That is so pretty, how beautiful. Before I get too carried away with that color though, I did wanna try out this right here. This is the Half Magic Chrome Addiction Eye Paint and Liner. I was so excited to see this won an award because I've always wanted to try it, so it gave me an excuse. This is the Half Magic like glittery toppers, but it's like a liquid. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, look at that. I got this shade ASMR. They make several shades, uh, but I just grabbed this one. I tried to pick a color that might work with this eyeshadow palette, but we'll see. So I've picked it up on a brush and now I'm gonna tap this onto the eyelid. Listen, my eyelid was already pretty sparkly, not gonna lie, but I hope you can see the difference here as I'm Popping this on, ooh, beautiful. Kind of like greenish blue champagne dimension. I'm really loving how this is looking. Just gonna pick up a little bit more on a brush and apply that to the other eye. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so happy with how that looks. <gasps> ooh, ooh, like look at it on my hand. How stunning. I would like to try more colors of this, I think. <gasps> That's so pretty. Love, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. I realized I didn't even try the Fluorasis eyeshadow brush that comes with the palette. It came with my order. I didn't even try it. I guess it's not an award winner though, so we're still on theme. For eyeliner, you guys know I'm not a huge eyeliner person, but this one did intrigue me. This is the Estee Lauder Smoke and Brighten Eyeliner Duo. So I grabbed mine in the shade dark chocolate and rich bronze, because I thought that this color would work really beautifully with the um, eyeshadow. So there's the bronze color. Here's the chocolatey color. Ooh, very nice gel formula. Ooh, okay. 
Let's try this out. I'm gonna take the dark color on the outer portions of the top lid. Then I flipped it over and I'm taking that more bronze color and lining it on the inner half of the eye. That's actually so pretty to do a little bit of an ombre with both colors. I will definitely revisit this eyeliner for the lower lash line as well, but I feel like those colors are really nice. Okay, now we're gonna try some mascara. There was actually a few mascaras that won awards. I wanted to try a couple of new ones. I saw this one Best Tubing Mascara. It's from the brand Blink, which I've never heard of. It was sold at Sephora though, so I picked it up. I feel like most tubing mascaras have a different brush than this. So I'm a little bit curious. Let's try it out. Like I said, you guys, there are so many different mascaras that won awards. Ooh, this is kind of like splashing on my cheeks. So obviously I couldn't try every single one, um, but I did want to try out a couple. This is a very wet formula. For me, I'm immediately comparing it to the Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara, which I feel like I like that that one has a little more grip. This is a very, very wet mascara. So I feel like it's not really lifting uh, my lashes very well. It's just kind of like painting them. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. It's just painting my lashes. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. It's just not the lash effect that I go for. Like, it's just very subtle, which for, like, seriously, look. It's like paint. Is it gonna dry? Am I using this right? Original Tubing Mascara. Okay, even if you cry, well, how long does it take to dry? It says it also holds curl longer, but I guess I didn't curl my lashes before. Hmm. I don't really like how that one feels, but don't get me wrong, I love a good tubing mascara, but I guess we'll have to see how it wears. So, not so sure about that yet. All right, we're gonna hop into complexion, and then I've got other products to use on the lower lash line later. Okay, so this, I never even heard of this, but it sounds like something that I would enjoy. This is from Beauty Blender. It's their Boost Primer. It's their Firming and Smoothing Peptide Primer. My lashes are stuck, hold up. What the? I don't know, this just looks like something I would like. And this one, best hydrating primer. I'm not sure if we need any more hydration today with my skin prep, however. We're gonna try this. Ooh, okay, this has a very like gel consistency. So we're gonna apply this all over. Okay, it kinda has like a smoothing sensation. It has a very, very, very strong fragrance, which is not my favorite in complexion products, um, but hopefully it won't linger on the skin. That looks so nice. It does have like a really nice cooling and then smoothing feel. My skin's so glowy from all the prep we did, but it's gonna get glowier because I really wanted to try out this product. This is the Jones Road Shimmer Face Oil. First of all, thank you so much to Jones Road for sending this to me because I was in a crisis. It wasn't gonna get here in time, so I reached out to them and they had it at my doorstep just a couple days later. So thank you, Jones Road. Thank you, Alyssa, for making this possible for me to try this in this video. Um, but this product won Best Liquid Highlighter. However, when I was on their website, like this is described as like a more priming product. So I might try it out in both ways. Um, this is the Shimmer Face Oil. The one that I wanted to try was Pink Opal, which is this gorgeous pink shade. Look at that. So I'm gonna try this on like the outer portions of the face first, under my makeup. Ooh. And then we can maybe try it later on top, but this is how I'm picturing using it. That actually smells good. That smells like a natural fragrance. Citrusy, and I like it. Okay, ooh, like look how pretty that is. Yeah, but it's definitely like more of a skincare product. So interesting that it won Best Liquid Highlighter when I think technically it's like a glowy primary product, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know for sure. We've got Foundations Galore that won awards. We have the Makeup by Mario Foundation that won an award, which you guys know I really love. The House Labs Foundation, which is honestly well-deserved. I love this one too. The Hourglass Veil Hydrating Tint, a beautiful sheer coverage foundation. Pricey, but really nice. This one won Best Stick Foundation, Westman Atelier, also pricey but nice. I would say out of all of these, um, the House Labs is what I feel like I would recommend if you wanted to try something that won an award. You haven't tried that yet, but then I saw that the Guerlain Terracotta Foundation won in the splurges category, and so I was like, you know what, let me try it. So I'm gonna try a new foundation today since I am so familiar with all those. Here it is right here, pretty packaging. I picked up mine in the shade 0.5N. I'm gonna do one pump on the back of my hand. 
And I'm gonna apply this to one side of the face first. Hey, my shade matching was not too shabby. I always get nervous when I buy foundations online because sometimes it's just a complete guess on what my shade is gonna be. I'm gonna press this into the skin with my sponge. It looks really nice. I'm not sure what the finish is supposed to be on this because I'm looking so dewy. Mm. It's supposed to be a long wear foundation though. It says 24 hour wear. I don't know about that, but here's the before, here's the after. Really nice coverage actually. Um, really pretty packaging too. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest to the other side of the face. Honestly, I think I could have used one pump on my entire face instead of one pump on both sides. But here we are. <laughs> that honestly looks really pretty. Definitely has a fragrance. I don't love how all those like high-end foundations have such strong fragrances. Hopefully it doesn't linger on the skin though. We have quite a few bronzers to check out as well. The Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Bronzer Duo won an award. I love this stuff. Also the NARS Cream Bronzer won an award. I also love this stuff. This one's the shade Laguna 01. So, so pretty. The Milk Makeup Contour Stick won an award, which you guys know I love. Um, but I saw that the Tower 28 Sculptino won an award, which I haven't tried this yet. So I figured I would try this one since I already love and use the others. So let's try this out. This is supposed to be like a sculpting and bronzing shade. So it's warm, um, but not too warm, apparently. That's what I hear anyway. Let me try this on this side of the face first. Okay, I like the color. I like how that blended out and I really like the color too. Okay, concealer. There are several concealers that won as well. The Tarte Radiant Shape Tape won an award. Also the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer won, which I love this one. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Concealer won an award. So I'm trying to decide. I'm honestly not that familiar with this Tarte one. I bought it not that long ago and um, only used it like twice. So I'm gonna use this one again. I'm just gonna put a little on my hand and then use this underneath the eyes, just to kind of brighten everything. Definitely has a very glowy finish, but just depending on what you're looking for, might be a great thing or a not so great thing. Just depends. I just realized you guys, I meant to try this out. <gasps> the Glossier Face Brush, this won an award and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. <gasps> I'm so sad. Maybe I could still put a little something on, could I? Oh, dang it. I normally would not put this much foundation on, but I have to try this. Look how cool, first, before I get it all dirty. Look at this, it's got the coolest shape. This is almost like a gua sha for your foundation. I'm just gonna see what this would do. I can only imagine how nice that would feel all over the face. I'm just trying not to um, mess up my bronzer and concealer. Well, I'll have to give this a more fair shot in the coming days. But that's that. <laughs> so sad I didn't apply my foundation with that. Feels really nice though on the skin. I'm gonna pop on a little cream blush and I can't decide. The Janessa Myricks Cream Blush won an award, which is so exciting. And the um, Charlotte Tilbury won also. So um, I think what I'll do is wear both. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of the Janessa Myricks. This is in the shade Rose and Brunch. And I'm gonna pop that on like the backs of the cheeks first. A little goes a long way with these, but it's such a beautiful formula. And then I'm gonna take my um, Charlotte Tilbury Matte Wand. I'm doing a lighter color. This is Pink Pop, which is like the brighter pink. So I'm just gonna kind of buff that out on like the apples of the cheeks. My face is feeling so hydrated <laughs> with all these cream products and like all the skincare I did. We are going to set the face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Blur Powder. You guys know I love this one. So I was really happy to see that this won an award. It's so good. I'm gonna press that underneath the eyes and through the T-zone. Then I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of dust that along the sides of the face. And then the Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Bronzer won an award, which was kind of interesting because this has just been around for so long. But this is a really beautiful formula. I was surprised to see something so classic win, kind of out of nowhere, but it's a really nice bronzer. I feel like I don't use it as much as I used to, but it's still good. I'm gonna layer up a little bit of powder blush. I know I'm wearing like a lot of blush, but the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Blush won an award and I love this formula. Um, and I had bought another color cause I, I love the really bright pink one, 
But I had bought this color a while ago and I found it in my stash and I was like, okay, since it won an award, let's try it. This is the color 51. We're gonna add more blush. <laughs> okay. Then powder highlighter, the Rare Beauty one won an award actually. This, which is pretty intense for me, not gonna lie. But I figured I would just use a tiny bit maybe right here. And then also maybe just some in the inner corner of the eyes. I don't know. I feel like that could be pretty. A little pop. I'm gonna put a little bit under the brows as well. This is where I wanna try a little bit of Jones Road liquid highlight on top. This could be way too much, but I'm trying to try as many things as possible. Hopefully it still works well on top of makeup. So I just took a tiny bit and I'm applying that to the skin with my fingertips. That looks pretty. Oh, that looks really nice. And it didn't seem to break up any um, foundation underneath, which is nice. All right, let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the bronze shade of the Estee Lauder eyeliner and draw this underneath the lower lash line. Also, I'm gonna kind of color that in the waterline too, because I think that'd be pretty. I'm just gonna buff that out before we go into the eyeshadow, which I'm just gonna take that same Floresis palette and I'm gonna mix these two colors, which is what we used on the top lid mostly. I'm adding a bit of that to the lower lash line. And then another mascara that I bought, cause I wanted to, I wanted to try this for a long time. Um, the Pillow Talk mascara from Charlotte Tilbury, but specifically in the shade Dream Pop. I've wanted to try this. It was sold out for a minute cause I'm pretty sure it went viral on TikTok. Look at this color. It's like a burgundy brown. I wanted to use this on the lower lash line. Honestly, like I wish this, top mascara was doing more for me. It's, it's really not. I almost wish I hadn't applied that because I feel like this eye look needs a little more. Um, but oh, as I stab my eye, okay. I'm gonna apply this to the lower lashes. It's such a cool color. <gasps> oh, I wish I would have put this on the top lashes, but you live and you learn. I'm gonna try to curl my top lashes a little bit. Normally I don't have to do this because I have very naturally long eyelashes and I feel like this mascara on the top is just doing nothing, which is hard on my lashes. Like if you can't really see much of my lashes and mine are like pretty beefy, then I don't know. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of that mascara. But anyways, the show must go on. Okay, we are gonna try, not try, we're gonna put on this little number right here, the Lawless Press Powder. This stuff is gorgeous. It really just blurs the skin. I love using this as like a finishing powder. It really smooths the skin. I feel like I have so much going on. I'm not gonna do as much as I normally would, um, but just know I really do love this and it won an award, which is great. Another product that won an award, but I have like so many cheek products on, I'm like I should probably not add something else. The Say, Glow Sculpts, such a unique formula, really pretty. So I'll just mention them because I feel like I have so much going on in the cheeks. <laughs> Probably shouldn't add another glowy blush product. All right, for lip liner, we're gonna throw on this LYS lip liner, this one best lip liner, not a specific shade. So I'm just gonna wipe off what's on my lips. My lips are very hydrated from that glow recipe balm. I chose the shade Driven. So I'm just gonna line the lips with this. It's very smooth. Pretty color too. Okay. So many lip products won, you guys. I'm just gonna kind of do a little quick rundown of some that I love. The Summer Fridays Tinted Lip Balms won an award. Love those to death. The Kosas Wet Lip Oil one, I love this too. The Clarins Lip Oil one, which I love this. I actually got this last year because I think it won an Allure Award last year as well, which is kind of interesting. The MAC um, Liquid Lipstick one, this is the Locked Kissed Ink. This is a really pretty color. I, I might try this, but then I also bought the Pat McGrath um, Satin Allure Lipstick, which look at this packaging, you're kidding. I got mine in the shade Veiled Rose. I don't know, I just kind of like randomly picked one. Oh, but how nice is that? Oh, should I try this? Okay. Oh, that's really nice. I haven't tried this formula from Pat McGrath yet. I've only tried her more matte ones, which I also love. Um, then we have, oh, the Hourglass, like glossy balm tint things won an award. Those are beautiful. This Buxom Plump Shot, I haven't actually tried, but they had this in PR, so I might do a little lip look. Oh, but I also wanted to try this. Guys, I seriously bought so many lip products because so many won. Believe it or not, I didn't even pick up 
all the things, which is crazy. This Makeup by Mario product, the Moisture Glow Plumping Gloss won an award. I picked mine up in the shade Smoky Pink. I just wanted to try it because the reviews are kind of mixed on this. It has a very gel-like finish or feel, so it's not sticky at all. I don't know, that seems pretty to me. I like the color for fall. Hmm. Mm. I don't mind it. I think it's actually really pretty, but I wanna try the uh, liquid lipstick. I'm gonna reline the lips with that pencil. I don't know if this is gonna match necessarily, but I wanted to try this Locked Kiss Ink from MAC. Oh, I feel like the lip liner actually works. Oh, it's a very thin formula. Okay, that's pretty. I'm gonna let that dry for a bit and then I think I'll top it with a gloss. While we wait for that to dry, I guess I can assess the situation and add a little bit more um, bronzer to the forehead. I don't think we need any more blush. Oh, the way I wish my top lashes were lashing a little more. But it is what it is. Okay, the best matte setting spray award went to the Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray from Milk Makeup, which I recently received in PR. So I wanted to try this. Okay, my lipstick is definitely drying down quite a bit. Good. Okay, I'm gonna spritz this all over. Da -da. It doesn't have a smell. At least I don't think so. I'm gonna press that down into the skin. Curious to see how a matte setting spray holds up with all this dewy glow. We shall see. All right, I'm gonna set the brows. The best brow wax went to Fluff Up Brow Wax from Benefit. I feel like this is okay. It's just not the texture that I reach for a lot, but I have it, so I wanted to like show it on camera. I did end up buying for the best clear brow gel went to Live Tinted, um, and I have never actually tried anything from Live Tinted. They seem to win awards like every year. This is the Hue Brow. I, I bought the clear one, obviously. Whoa, look at the inside packaging. So we're gonna try this out to lock my brows in place. Ooh, so far I like the spoolie. Yeah, it's honestly hard to compete with my Benefit 24 hour brow setter, but so far this is going on nicely. You know what I've been liking though? The one that I tried in the drugstore one, the Sephora collection, this is like 12 bucks. A little bit too much product comes off, but like I've been working with it quite a bit and it's really nice. So we'll see how this one compares to that one since that also won an award and I've been really loving it. Okay, now that the matte lipstick has kind of set a bit, I wanted to try out the Buxom Plump Shot Sheer Tint. So this is a tinted version of their Super Plumping Gloss, which I don't know if I should use on top of a matte liquid lipstick, but here I am just trying to try as many Allure winners as possible. So I'm gonna take, oh, look at that color. It matches really nice. I'm gonna take this. Um, this is the shade Dolly Babe. I'm just gonna pop that right on top. It has a very balmy finish. Hmm, super comfortable. I was expecting like a gloss. It's kind of more like a liquid lip balm if I'm honest. And it's supposed to plump the lips. Okay. Okay, I just realized I have one more thing. This product, which has intrigued me for a long time, won an award. This is the Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara. This is supposed to be something that you can apply over your dried and set mascara and it's supposed to refresh your lashes. Normally, I feel like I wouldn't have tried this had I wanted to see how a mascara wore, but since I don't really love how the mascara looks on my eyes, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> so this is supposed to just refresh your lashes, but we'll see how it looks on top of something like this. Oh, I don't know. My lashes just feel so crunchy, but it's giving more volume than the mascara is. I feel like I need to try this over a mascara that I'm like super familiar with. Interesting, very innovative little product. I wanna say this one in the breakthrough category. I could be wrong. Let me fact check that. It did. This was a breakthrough product. Well, it's doing more than the mascara, um, but I don't feel like I love the shape that my lashes had before this. Anyway, just a kind of fun product to try. I don't know, it might be a little gimmicky. We'll see if something like that sticks into my routine. I don't feel like I ever really need to refresh my lashes unless, I suppose, unless you're doing like a day to night look and you've got like um, a little bit more going on on the eyes, like maybe you do more eyeshadow and things fall down, maybe then you would need a mascara dry shampoo. I don't really know. 
Like I mentioned earlier, they did have a scent category, which was really exciting. And one of my favorite products won, so I wanted to throw this in the end, a laundry detergent. I don't think I've ever talked about laundry detergent on my channel, but here we are. This is the Dead Cool Taunt Laundry Detergent. This is my favorite. If you wanna know what all my clothes smell like, it's this, because Dead Cool Taunt is one of my favorite perfumes ever. Um, this is my personal one. My husband has his own. My baby has her own detergent. This is mine so that my clothes smell like me, but it's amazing. I was happy to see that it won an award. Also, the Fleur Solar Power Fragrance. You wouldn't believe, I got that in PR like months ago, and I turned my house upside down trying to find it for this video, and I couldn't find it. So once I find it, I'll be keen to try it because it won an award. It would have been great to have it in this video, but I couldn't find it, so that's that. I feel like out of everything new that I tried today, I would say I'm the most excited. I mean, to be honest, that foundation's looking really good. The Jones Road Shimmer Oil is really, really pretty on the high points of the face. I really wanna see how the Charlotte Tilbury Colored Mascara looks on the top and bottom lashes. I mean, a lot of these things I've already loved and enjoyed. I would say the majority of these feel like award winners, at least the ones that I have tried before that I mentioned I really, really love. Um, the thing that I feel like I would not recommend is that um, mascara. It just wasn't my personal cup of tea. I know a lot of people are different when it comes to mascara. Some people don't want their lashes to look like they have anything on them. That's not me. Like if I'm gonna wear mascara, like I want it to look really mascara-y. Um, so maybe some people would enjoy this. It wasn't my personal cup of tea. Also this half magic situation, the glitter on the eyes, 10 out of 10. So out of the new things, I would say the half magic Quite possibly the foundation we'll have to see, the Jones Road Shimmer Oil, also the Beauty Blender Primer. I'm so interested to see how it all wears. If you wanna see how it wore on me, I'm gonna leave a note in the description box. Um, it's hard for me sometimes when I try this many products to know if something's working what it is or if it's not working what it is since I have so many things layered. But I'll do my best to kind of give you a little bit of an opinion at the end of the night on how this wore. So you can go to the description box for that. What do you guys think about the high-end lineup? Are any of these things your faves? Do you feel like some things like one that didn't deserve to? Do you think there should have been other things in place of some of these award winners? Let me know in the comments down below. Stay tuned for my Reader's Choice episode coming up soon. I actually, I didn't start doing that till last year, but I'm looking forward to filming that one again because it's like really familiar products. Since it's the readers, it's like me and you, you know, that give these products awards. So it's a very familiar, very deserving list, I feel, when it's like the readers who give these awards. What was your favorite thing to see me apply? What was your least favorite thing that I tried? Let me know in the comments. Again, stay tuned for this weekend for a very special video. I cannot wait to show you guys what I have been working on. It's really something special to me. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. Mark your calendars for the seventh. It's gonna be revealed right here on my channel, okay? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of this series that we do every year. I genuinely love filming these. I actually do discover some amazing things and then some things feel like maybe they didn't deserve an award as much, but overall, I really look forward to filming these every year and I know you guys do too. So thank you for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you.